Hello, welcome to day six of Maria's daily vlog. I am at the lab. I have my GoPro on, which I am now turning on. There it is. And you can now see what I'm going to do in the lab. People are going to think I'm crazy in the lab. It's fine. They all know that already. Let's go. So what I am doing is I am preparing artificial seawater, which I need for some incubations that I'm doing with plastic and bacteria. So I want bacteria to colonize my plastic. And I want to be sure of everything that is in the median where the bacteria and the plastic will be. So I prepare artificial seawater, which is a combination of different chemicals, nutrients or salts, and voila, we have artificial seawater. So now I just need to get all the chemicals. Seawater has a lot of salts. Of course, the most predominant one is sodium chloride, but it has many others. That's why I have to take so many out of the cupboard to prepare my artificial seawater. And there's one which is actually toxic in high concentrations, and Barbara has to give me access to it. She's our lab manager. Now I have my chemicals. I just need to put my gloves on and then I can finally start working. I want my artificial seawater to have the salinity as close as possible to the one in the ocean, which is on average 35 grams of salts per liter. For that I need to weigh the amount of salts for the volume of artificial seawater that I want in the end. Now that everything is done, I just need to clean and go on. Now that I have my salts in all the correct amounts, I have to add water. In this case we add sterile water so that I'm sure that the artificial seawater I'm preparing is as clean as possible. So this here is an autoclave. Whoop. Here, this is an autoclave. This white cube there. So basically this is a container that you can increases pressure and temperature. And in my case, I want to use it to sterilize my water. So I'm producing this artificial seawater and I want to make sure that every if there is any bacteria or any other kind of organism inside, well, that it will die because otherwise it might ruin my experiment. So here we go. Two, we have to close it really well because it's going, pressure is going to increase inside and also temperature. So we have to close and seal it really well. So now the artificial seawater is done and I can go on to another project. Say hello to Teresa again. <laughs> Explain to Riza what we are doing. Yeah, we are building a structure for our monitor we put in the, which is actually in the exhibition, which what we talked about yesterday. Exactly, well it's the same, but Barbara, it's much easier. Barbara, thanks a lot for the key. Thank you. And yeah. where we can lay the lid, let's get to that. I have waves on my head. Very so Marine of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm becoming a mermaid. Yeah, that's it. Now preparing the exhibition. I'm preparing the exhibition. Check out this. How cool. You see this? So this is actually a photo of the surface of one of the plastics that I collected last year. This is a tiny, tiny piece of plastic and these are microorganisms that are living attached to the plastic. This is one of the photos that we will put in the exhibition. So guys, check out the amazing pictures that we have here. I have to say, I'm not totally sure what this is, but it is amazing. 
here is a diatome again in one of the plastics me and Teresa collected last year. This is amplified 3000 times, which means you would not see it without a proper microscope such as this one. It is Zutamnium. Zutamnium. <laughs> so this is a cruise I was on last year it, from New Zealand to Alaska. I might talk about it in one of my videos. I have a lot of footage, but I am not, I need some permission to be able to publish it. So these are the photos that we have been working on and that we will put in our exhibition. Lab work is done, office work is done, so it's time to go grocery shopping and then home. See you home. I am home and I am going to cook something now for dinner. This is me cooking my dinner. Wrong finger, it's this one, not this one. What is this? sure that if anyone of you is a cook you are dying now seeing how I cut my veggies because I'm pretty sure there's some kind of technique and I just I just use Maria technique I'm sorry if there's a really weird noise occasionally on the background it's because I just put my washing machine on and it sounds like an airplane I honestly sometimes feel like there's an airplane just lifting out of my house Especially the onion. I know there's like techniques to cut onions and I know that mine is ridiculous <laughs> since it's just randomly cutting it. But it works fine for me. I like how they... I like the randomness. Okay, so I just finished doing my dinner. Ta-da! It's just some uh, pasta with um, tomato sauce and some veggies. I generally, during the week, I never cook anything very complex. I actually never really cook anything very complex. I don't mind cooking, so I do enjoy cooking and I do enjoy, especially if I cook for someone else, not only for me. But if I have the chance to choose between an easy and a difficult meal, I tend to go to the easy one because I always have so many other things I want to do at the same time. So yeah, but uh, I do like... No, it's okay. Not my best masterpiece, but it's okay. Yeah, let's start editing the video finished editing the video now I'm just gonna add this little piece and then I'm going to bed I hope you enjoyed the video today and I hope to see you tomorrow ocean people thank you so much for watching again see you tomorrow